The sky was gray, stuffed as full of snow as a quilt is of down, but not a single flake had fallen, nor would any fall for some time to come. Arwendiel had no intention of allowing his niece's departure to be delayed. He rode alongside the coach as far as the Barsi Road to see Pusiev safely on her way. Privately, he wagered with himself that she would bring up Lucille one more time. With a touch of sardonic enjoyment, he found himself proven right as they approached the turnoff for Barsi. Uncle, she said, leaning out the carriage window, have you come to your senses yet about making your claim for Lucille? There is no one with a better right to it. No, my dear, he said, speaking as lightly as he could. I wish to have nothing to do with the place again. Pusiev looked baleful for an instant, but then she smiled and began to talk enthusiastically about the avenue of oaks that her husband had been planting at Foral in her absence, how she was looking forward to seeing it when she returned home. 